Good morning and welcome to the Morning Scoop for Thursday, June 17th. This is your Daily Buckeye Fix. I'm Tom Moore. The Minnesota game is in 77 days. The game is mission in 163 days. It is another day after an Ohio State football camp, and it was a loaded, loaded Wednesday. A ton of really, really talented prospects. We got to see a bunch of them in person. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Kirk, Gifler, or Kirk Barton right now, <laughs> not Kirk Giffler. <laughs> Mark, Mark Giffle is coming later. It's been a long day. Oh. I've been in the sun a lot. It's You're fine. Killing it, man. Uh, but it was it was a really really fantastic day. The morning there there wasn't a lot to there wasn't a ton in the morning and then the afternoon like more than made up for kind of a, a slow morning. Some of the guys we thought we were going to see in the morning we ended up seeing in the afternoon. Uh, one of those guys was 2023 offensive lineman Chase Basantis. He is a uh, New Jersey kid, top 50 kid in the class of 2023. Um, you got to watch his him work out one-on-one -on -one with Kennedy Cook and Greg Stedwara up, up close. What were your impressions of Chase? He's a very, very well put together kid. Very physical, um, muscular. You know, he spends a lot of time in the gym, you can tell. He's really popped in the bag. Nice footwork, too. Um, played ball right side last year, switching to left tackle this year, he told me. But, you know, I like his, his potential. He moved well. I thought he had a great workout. And uh, he'd be an exciting guy to the class. Is he someone that you see you know, long enough arms, tall enough, big enough reach, good enough footwork that he could play tackle, or is he I, maybe an interior guy? I think he, he could because of his athleticism. Um, I think he'd be more ideal at guard, but I think he could definitely play tackle and hang in there and, and do a good job because he was moving around good today. I mean, and that was a pretty long workout. They went one-on-one yeah. -on -one with him for quite a while. I mean, what are they looking for? When you're evaluating an offensive lineman like that, what are you really looking for? I think movement skills, fluidity, how well they can take direction, you know, how well they can do a drill. Um, they, you know, they have a sled now that they hit every time to see their hip snap, their hand power. Uh, he had them on the difference, like the little mini sled, and he was popping that. Seeing, see, you know, the biggest thing is just movement skills, um, fluidity, athleticism, you know, because that's the biggest thing is when you're not, you can't actually go against anybody. You, know, you want to see how well the guy can change direction and redirect and and pass protect. You know, they're hitting the ball. You know, he did a little kick slide and hit the ball and pop it. And you, know, you can tell the kids spent some time in, in the weight room and he's well coached. Yeah, and you can find, uh, we put videos of pretty much all of those drills up on our Twitter account, which is twitter.com slash Buckeye Scoop. They're probably going to a bunch of them on our YouTube channel as well, youtube.com slash Buckeye Scoop. It was just interesting to watch like what they're actually doing. It's like they're throwing these big medicine balls back and forth. They, they look real heavy and they're throwing them back and forth and he had to first catch them and then throw them back and then they threw them and he just had to punch them back at them. It, it, that looked like a heck of a workout. Um, and then while we were in there, on the other side of the field, uh, 2023 edge, Mateo Uyangalele, uh, younger brother of Cl Curtin Clemson quarterback, DJ Uyangalele. I'm tempting fate by saying that last name so many times. Um, he got to work out for Larry Johnson. I mean, you used the word physical freak before when we were talking talking about him. I mean, th that was another very impressive workout to me. Yeah, it was crazy because I watched this film from a few weeks ago at the Clemson camp where he was running routes and just running away from little guys. And I was like, I can't believe how big that guy is. I and mean, he's got to be the number one player in the country for his class. But it was interesting because when I was watching the O-line workout, I was the only guy watching the O-line workout. And then there were about 20 media guys <laughs> watching watching this kid work out. And he was, he's all that, man. He is He's a freak show and he... Really looked the part. He moved well. Larry Johnson did some great work with him. And I mean, how could you not want to be coached by Larry Johnson when you've seen what he's done over the course of his career, and specifically the last five years? I mean, he's really put some big time guys in the league. And I think with a guy like that and, and his ability and his height and his reach, and Larry Johnson's coaching, it would be really, really scary. Uh, someone else we saw Larry Johnson working with right before we came out here was five star Sonny Styles, who I think is probably still listed as a safety on the recruiting uh, websites, as you know, on, on his recruiting profile. You know, he could play safety, he could play linebacker, he could play edge. He, I mean, he was in there with Al Washington and Larry Johnson working on pass rush technique, which tells you probably where they think he might slot in. Uh, you know, every time you see him, it's just. It's very impressive. You know, there, there are kids who are four or five stars. So you kind of go like, yeah, maybe. And then there are kids who are like, yeah, that, that's that right there. That's that's what a five star looks like. Yes. He to me is one of those like, oh yeah, that's a five star. Yeah, just like the kid from uh, from Don Bosco. They're mm -hmm. like the same. You, once you see him, you just kind of know. And Sonny, I think, I don't think he could be like Sam Hubbard, but I mean, he looks great bending around the edge, doing the drills with uh. You know, they have these big clubs on and they see how quick they can bend the edge and how low they can get and how fluid they look and I mean, he's scary i mean if he 
fills out. He's so young, he still has a couple more years of development, and you know, he gets in the weight room and eats a couple of Panera bagels, man. Mm -hmm. He could be right there playing mm -hmm. the edge real quick. So I'm uh, I'm excited to see his progression. I mean, he seems like a great kid. He seems like he's a pretty decent Ohio State lean, and I'm excited to see his uh, his continual growth. And I'm real, real excited to see where he ends up at in three years. You know, mm -hmm. Is he going to be coming into the linebacker, move down to the end? Is he going to come as a safety, move down to the linebacker? That's going to be very intriguing to watch. Yeah, Sam Hubbard's an interesting comp because Sam Hubbard also was a safety in high yep. school and then came in and it was like, well, where's he going to fit? And then all of a sudden he's a defensive end and going to the NFL. That seems like that could very well be the Sonny Styles career path. The other thing that's intriguing to me is he's here all the time. Yes. This is, I think, the third time in a week that we've seen no. Sonny Styles at Ohio State. He's going to get a lot of time with Larry Johnson, no. which, you know, I mean, he's got the physical abilities, he's got the size, he's got the speed. No. If you get a little bit of extra face time with, with Coach Jay over, you know, uh, you know, however often they can do it, whether it's once a week or once a month or whatever, no. over the next couple of years, that's going to be a huge head start in terms of technique coming into Ohio State. Yeah, and, and plus you're just so close. You could be here all the time. I mean, you could be, you know, you could pop home for dinner. Like if you're a kid from Pickering Town, I don't know how you're from Ohio State, you know, because we're, we got it cooking. You got the best coaches, right? Your parents are right down the street. You know, if they want to come, you know, take you out to dinner. It's just, it makes so much sense. But, you know, when kids hang around here and they're comfortable with the coaches and they get to know the young players, the freshmen, that they actually end up playing within a couple years. Like it's, it seems like it's a pretty good thing. And, you know, obviously the coaches are doing a great job recruiting him because he keeps coming back. So, so Sonny Sells is here all the time. All the coaches come up to him. Tony Alford, Ryan Day. Um, seems like they've got great chemistry. And usually when kids are here all the time, like when I was getting recruited, I came to every home game. So when they're playing Kent Akron, they like knew they had me in the bag so they could slow play me to death. Like Sonny Sells is like the opposite of me because they're actually excited to get me on like the staff back in the day. So, but I, I think him being here all the time bodes really well for Ohio State. And you know, Mark feels confident about it, so I'm confident about it. All right, well, speaking of Mark, we're going to swap. We're going to make a little trade right now. We're going to slow play Kirk right over there. We're going to bring Mark right in here for his official uh, his official visit yes. to the morning scoop. We've talked about a couple of different guys. We have not yet talked about A.J. Harris, five-star cornerback. Mm -hmm who uh, he's coming out of the state of Alabama. This is not going to be the easiest recruitment for Ohio State to pull off. But from what I saw, I mean, he looks like he has a real good rapport with Kerry Combs, mm -hmm. and he looks like he's going to be a real good cornerback at the college level. Yeah, unbelievable player. Um, you know, definitely one of those five-star corners that you know, Ohio State's been getting pretty used to landing. Um, yeah, I, I think he really has a great interest in Ohio State. He's got a great bond with Kerry Combs, that workout looks really promising, not just in terms of how good Harris was, but just the way him and Combs were engaging uh, was just a positive thing. It's one of those things where all of the signs look good for Ohio State, but there's just that thing in the back of your mind of like, are they going to get a kid from Alabama <laughs> who yeah. is also being recruited by Alabama, Georgia, and Clemson? Like, that's just not something that has happened before, but... If you didn't know he was from Alabama, if you thought he was from Florida or Georgia or Tennessee or Pennsylvania, you would probably think they have a great chance. So I think you have to go with, I think you have to trust what you're seeing and what, what he's what he's saying about Ohio State and the family was here. I think you have to trust all those things and maybe throw some of that out the window about, you know, not having an Alabama recruit in like 40 years or whatever. Yeah, 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 1981 I think was the last time. <laughs> so. And that was, uh, that was uh, Dante Wheat who was... Uh, I, I wrote an article about the last recruit from every state, and Dante Wheat was 1981 or 1983, something like that. And uh, then I had a player from that team DM me and say, who, who is this? And uh, said that never heard of him. He was in the media guide, but never showed up. So, you know, did they even really get a kid? They may not have ever had a recruit from, from Alabama. So it, it, that would certainly be a historical anomaly, but they've had kids from Idaho and Hawaii recently. So Utah, so you, you, never, you never say never, and especially with Kerry Combs. You know, I mean, that, that is a guy who, who at, could sell at, ice to Eskimos. At one point, they couldn't pull highly ranked kids out of Southern California. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, yep. and they've started to do that a little bit. Yep. So you never yep. know. A uh, couple linebackers, and you can tell me which one of these guys or both you want to talk about. Uh, 2023 linebacker Jaden Yates out of Kahana. Mm -hmm. 2022 linebacker Abdul Carter out of uh, Philly. Mm -hmm. um, did you get a chance to watch either of those guys? And, and what did you say? Yeah, Bill watched a little more, but I, I was able to catch uh, the end of drills and some one-on-ones. Uh, Jaden Yates had an interception and one-on-ones. Uh, looked really, really good. Um, that's a kid I think is, look, if, are they going to offer him? I don't know. If they did, 
Would I blink? No. I think that would be a kid that if, you, if they offered would make total sense to me. I think he's a high level power five recruit. I don't, he's, I don't think he's a mid-level guy. I think he's going to go to one of the elite Midwest schools. Um, really, really athletic kid. Um, Abdul Carter's a little bigger, a little bulkier, uh, really solid. Is he a tweener? You know, is he is he more of an edge or is he a true linebacker? But moves really well to size. Was was physically impressive. Um, I liked Abdul Carter as well. That's going to be a tougher decision with them trying to figure out. You know, maybe one more linebacker spot and maybe not wanting to crowd a defensive end room too much right now. But. Um, you know, both guys I thought had good days. I followed Abdul Carter around a little bit. He was on one of the real far, far over there fields during the start of the uh, winner loser drills where they just kind of go one on one. They had him in pass coverage over there and he won both reps that I saw him do. And then they had a staffer run him from the field way over there all the way over here. So I got to run behind him carrying all my camera gear and they ran him into a uh, run support drill and he won both of his reps there. And it was like, I mean, you know, this is this is what a kid who is a four star kind of kid should look like against camps. You know, camper, this is not like an elite, you know, Under Armour National All-American camp. This is just Ohio State football camp. But like that's what a kid like this should look like in a setting like this. Um, we talked a little bit about Sonny Styles earlier. We talked about uh, Mateo Uyangalele. We talked about uh, Chase Masantis. Do you have any any uh, you know overwhelming thoughts on any you know one of those guys that you want to share? Well, Mateo's special. Um, you know, when you think about it, he hasn't really known what his position was going to be really ever, and he may still be trying to work through that. So the fact that he was as good as he was for for Larry Johnson in there, um, kind of mind blowing wonder what he could look like in two or three years if he just says you know what I'm a defensive lineman <laughs> you know and and that could be scary uh, I thought he was fantastic I mean really a hard that's what a five-star defensive lineman looks like yeah Kirk Kirk talked about seeing him at, at the Clemson camp a week or two ago and he's like playing wide receiver and running past like corners it's like that is not something that you should be able to do as a defensive lineman there's another defensive lineman who's going to be in this building on Friday this week who we saw do that a little bit and highlights from last year. That is uh, JT Tuomaloa, a defensive end from uh, Samamas, Washington. He'll be on his official visit to Ohio State this week. Guess what tomorrow's morning scoop's going to be about? I don't want to spoil it, but there's a number one prospect in the nation who is going to be uh, in Columbus this weekend. So that might be what tomorrow's morning scoop's about. I don't want to spoil it, though, so you'll have to you'll have to tune in and find out. Uh, but he's coming, on, he's coming on Friday. This is, I mean, we got... Not only did we see a lot of interesting players today, we had a ton of information. I mean, just you, you get you get a chance. We had we had a million people out here, and they all got to talk to people, and it was yeah. And I had to run inside and take a call from Madison Nichols before <laughs> mm -hmm. we recorded yes, this. So yes, that will be up on the site here probably well before this goes up. Yes, so. Mark Mark was M <laughs> Mark was MIA from the first half of the podcast because he was working working the working the phones and, and uh, spoiler went well. Yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, Nevada has Nevada has weighed in on that one, and uh, I think Mark has weighed in on that one as well now. So that'll be one to keep an eye on. But uh, yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of news coming out this week, not only from these camps, from the visit from Tuamaloa, and I L stuffs going on right now. You got, I mean, there's there's a million things going on right now, and and this is like this is the quiet part time of the year. So imagine what the busy time of the year is going to look like. It is like I'm already tired. I, I, I'm already going to need like half of the fall off. It's, this is going to be crazy. No. But no, no. <laughs> no. Well, thank, thank you for your consideration. No. Uh, but we need, we need, your, we need your photography. <laughs> who, who agreed to do a daily podcast? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, this is this is uh, going to be a, just an incredible year. I mean, Ohio State is looking like they're going to be a pretty good football team, and. Uh, uh, you know, this is going to be a really, really interesting year to follow recruiting, really interesting year to follow all of the changes that are going on in the sport. And a fantastic place to do that would be right at BuckeyeScoop.com. I promise you, if you join, you, dear listener, if you join, I won't take any time off this fall. That will be my solemn pledge to you. I will stick around, but you have to join right now at BuckeyeScoop.com. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com slash BuckeyeScoop. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Mark shot a million hours of camp drills and all that kind of stuff. Interviews with players and coaches today. Talked to Sonny Styles earlier today. I mean, there's just, there's so much going on. That's all at youtube.com slash Buckeye Scoop. Just subscribe right there and you get notified every time we post a new video. Uh, and then also make sure you check out all of our great podcasts. They're on all the podcast platforms you know and love. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify. We're on all of them. Just search Buckeye Scoop to find those right there. And you can subscribe and leave us a five-star rating or review, which we would greatly appreciate because it will help other folks find those shows as well. That'll do it for today. Thank you guys for joining us. Have a great day. We will talk to you tomorrow.